Hello everybody, this is Jim Schulman, and this is the Bianca, all wired up for temperature control. Um, we have a uh, SCASE style thermosensor here. Uh, on the second one we have a surface T thermocouple monitoring the group temperature, sitting at 90, roughly 91 degrees centigrade and a second surface monitor showing here at uh, about 84.5 centigrade on the group bell. Um, what we're going to be doing is looking at the shot temperature at different flow rates. So we'll start off, uh, the paddle setting here gives roughly a 20 second, 2 ounces and 20 second type affair. And we start, and we see the temperature rapidly climbing. And it gets up to about 93 degrees centigrade. So, we had about two ounces in about 20 seconds here. So that shot got up to 93. Um, but if we reduce the flow to where we would, where it would be making a one minute profiled shot with a soft pre-infusion, and we start it up again, well, first we want to empty this out and wait a few seconds. Okay. And we'll, we'll lift the paddle a little bit and we've got the flow. And now we've got a really slow rate that we would be using for profiling. And the shot temperature stays low. As you notice, the group bell is shedding heat. It's not really climbing at all. And we're up to 40 seconds, and we still haven't hit 90 degrees. So this is a thing you need to keep in mind when you're looking at profiling with a brew boiler and a thermosiphon system because the slower flow, uh, the, the group is at a lower temperature than the boiler water. The group is sitting at, well, it'll, it's sitting at 92 now. It'll get down to about 91. The boiler is sitting at about 100. Um, and the shot temperature is going to run somewhere between the group temperature and the boiler temperature. Um, now the slower the flow, the closer it'll get to the group temperature. The faster the flow, the more the boiler will influence it. So um, the group is sitting here at the hottest part at 91, at the coolest part at about 86, and that will cool off the water coming in from the boiler. The boiler is sitting at 100, so faster flow means higher temperatures, slower flow means lower temperatures. Strangely enough, that's exact opposite of what you would have on a E61 machine where you have a steam boiler, uh, because then you've got a restrictor on the thermosiphon, and the group is still cool, but the steam boiler is really hot, and as the flow slows down, it picks up more heat through the heat exchangers. Um, if you balance the heat exchanger gain and the uh, group loss, you can actually get completely steady temperature if you have a heat exchanger and a very high brew boiler temperature. But that's sort of Valente style super thermodynamics with a um, with a sim with a simple with, with a brew boiler staying at a constant temperature you have to keep in mind the flow rate to understand where your final shot temperature is going to be. 
Now, one way we can get, a, the simplest way we can get around this is to set your brew temperature, set your, your, your brew temperature for a regular style shot with high flow rates. And then when you're profiling, all you need to do is run, run about 10 seconds worth of, well, you won't see it now because we've got the thing out, so that we have unrestricted flow. So we've run 10 seconds, and then we immediately start this, we don't wait, and now we go down to a low flow rate. And you're running a little bit higher, and it starts to climb. So by, by preheating the group, you will get the shot temperatures running at around average. I've got this thing set fairly low because I like my I don't like my temperatures all that hot. Um, but this will work at any temperature you desire to set. Thank you for your time. Bye. <laughs>